Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Review, a program where we review the latest in entertainment. This episode, we will be discussing Frozen 2. Frozen 2 is a 2019 American computer animated musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios, the 58th film produced by the studio. It is the sequel to the 2013 film Frozen and features the return of directors Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee. Producer Peter Del Vecchio, songwriters Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, and composer Christopher Beck. Lee also returns as screenwriter, penning the screenplay from a story by her, Buck, Mark E. Smith, Anderson, Anderson Lopez, and Lopez, while Brian Howard, executive, produced the film. Veteran voice cast Adina Menzel, Kristen Bell, Jonathan Groff, Josh Gad, and Kieran Hine return as their previous characters and are joined by newcomers Sterling K. Brown, Evan Rachel Wood, Alfred Molina, Martha Plimpton, Jason Ritter, Rachel Matthews, and Jeremy Sisto. So, the film is set three years after the events of the first film. The story follows Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf, oh, Olaf and Sven who embark on a journey beyond their kingdom, Verendel, in order to discover the origin of Elsa's magical powers and save their kingdoms after a mysterious voice calls out to Elsa. So generally, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that this movie was super wonderful. Um, I uh, went to go see this in a screening full of uh, uh, young people or young children and also adults. Um, I thought that the movie was lovely. I had seen the first movie uh, that day, as in Frozen, the 2013 one, and um, I enjoyed that. Uh, I especially liked the songs in that one a lot better, but the story here was uh, just a lot more stronger, I think. Um, not not that the first story wasn't strong, but this was just... the a lot of A lot of creators are really scared to let their characters go deep into... Um, uh, the, like, tap into the dark side a little bit. Um, like, they're always worried about how far they can really take a certain character. And I felt like that they touched on the darkness in this film and what happens in this film so well, especially with, like, for a younger audience to watch a film like this. And it's really interesting that um, in this film, I would say... I don't really want to say that because that might be a spoiler, but I really enjoyed the way they talked about perspectives. The cast, the voice cast was so amazing. And um, there's a particular song in there that if you love bands like NSYNC or Boys to Men or uh, those kind of throwback bands from the early thousands and um, 90s, like boy bands, basically, uh, then you're going to love a particular song in this uh, in this picture. The, uh, but like I was saying more about the story, the story this go around was so much mature, so much darker, not dark as in we're going to see blood or something, not like that, but more so uh, dark in its themes and an ex exploration of what it's going to be discussing in the film that might actually challenge younger audience while also keeping uh, a more older audience engaged while watching, which I thought was a very, very unique thing for them to do here, especially with what the theme of this story is about, where we're talking about nature and colonialism and community and how that all gets squared off. And I felt like if Frozen 1 was about finding the power of uh, friendship and sisterhood and family and, co and community, then the uh, the other this movie would be about love for sure, and I think that that's a very important message that will be able to resonate with families and everyone everywhere. Um, so I recommend checking it out. Uh, it's definitely worth the watch for both parents and adults alike. If you like uh, animated movies, I definitely go ch uh, re recommend it. I think it's a lot better from the first one. Uh, songs withholding the songs, it's a lot better from the first one. Um, the songs aren't bad, they're just not going to be as good as the first one, because how can you top a song like Let It Go? I don't think you can, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you like what you heard here, please like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike, and let me know how you felt about the review down below. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of these, so hopefully you guys enjoy them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.